All right. Welcome back. Zeos Girls. Z Z playing in my headphones. Didn't touch anything. These are just paired a while ago, and now you, you pick them up, and as soon as you... I don't know what does it. Magic. Neurophone magic. This is the advanced uh, headphone stand that they sent me. And uh, thank thankfully I have this, or else these would not go on phone blocks because as you can see they're not normal in any way shape or form just the fact that they have silicone as a headphone pad would probably be number one but this you see, you see in this go to the unboxing I did of this on my other channel on the Zeos Pantera channel uh, there's an unboxing of these and I put them on for the first time in that video and it is a, a sound to behold, because it isn't like an excited like, ooh, it's a, why does it feel like two little Asian girls are licking my ears at the same time? Sort of, ooh. And um, well, that's because it does feel like that. So what are the Neurophones? Uh, CES winner for best innovative technology, 2017, 18? 2018. That's pretty impressive. It is, well, it's August, I guess, or it's nearly August. Headphones. Bluetooth headphones. Not noise canceling. $400. Okay. They're on Amazon. Great. Did they get Kickstarter? I'm not sure if these actually came from a Kickstarter or not. All I know is the world was a buzz, and I saw that in a picture, and I'm like, I need that in my life. I need to know why. I need to know why. And the the spiel, the spiel with the neurophones is that they measure your ear. They put them on and they literally give you a hearing test and they measure your ear and then they adjust for your ear and the shape and how you listen to music. And then it comes out and it's DSP corrected to your head. And that's what it does. It does what it says it's going to do. It's, it says what it's going to do, and then it does it. And I don't understand, because I'm from the audio industry. I'm, I'm from this, where people make promises. They promise the world, and then they're always fucking lying. But they're not. So now, this is this new tech. is I got another headphone that's got it also, which is coming up. I just received it, so it's coming up probably weeks and weeks from now. So we're able to see if this is actually a thing. Because DSP corrections matter. Um, these Atom A5Xs are a $1,000 pair of studio monitors. And I guarantee you the digital lamp of, the, the digital controllers that they have um, are DSP correcting it to fix it. It's changing the shape of the sound. And the Mini DSP HD is changing the shape of the sound from a living room. But this, this is interesting because it does it automatically and it does it on your head. So here's the process, right? You download the app. Of course there's an app. Everything's got an app. My, my cat's going to take a shit, and it's going to be like, I can't go. Please log into the app. And I'm going to be like, oh, poop. Where is the Neurophone app? Neurophone disconnected. Please reconnect to continue using the Neuro app. So, I'll describe the physical build of the headphones. Plastic? Metal? Thin metal? Pla I don't... If I can't tell, then it shouldn't matter. This is metal. Across the top, a uh, piece of like smooth rubber or silicone here. Here's your wire. The pad on top is a piece of silicone. It says Neurophone. Um, the height adjustments are here on the edge, which I'm fine with. The pads, again, are silicone with a, I don't even know what you'd call that. Give me some sexual, like a, like, uh, these pegging adapters, they're pegging and ear pegging adapters, okay. You got some vents around there. There's the port for plugging it in and charging it, and also the port for using the different adapter heads, which I have all, I have. there's four of them, the only one not here is the lightning adapter because I don't have an Apple device to show off. There's no buttons. There's no on off, there, there's no volume control. But there are controls, you just can't 
see them. There's also no left and right indicator, I don't think. I've been, I've been stressing my brain, and I'm like, well, how do you know which way to put them on? And I guess you just have to know that they go pointy forward, which is brazen. And I, I guess, is it pointy forward or is it pointy back? Which way is it? Oh, it's gotta be pointy forward, but then the wire's on the wrong side. But then again, these are supposed to be portable. But then again, they're Bluetooth, so you wouldn't use them with the wire. So I really just, they needed to, to color, they need to like put L and R on here somewhere. Just anywhere. Just, f I mean, they got writing here. It says made in, made in China and designed in Melbourne. See, that's the thing. I got a, I got a kink for Australian designed and made things. So this is this right up my alley. Right up my alley. Okay. So these are push buttons. These are, they don't they don't physically push, but they're touch sensitive. And in the app, you can set them to do things. So the way this works, you download the app, you buy the headphones, you put the headphones on your head. It'll say, please pair with whatever, uh, your phone 189. Or you plug in any of these wires, including an Apple one, and you get a you, you don't get these, by the way. You have to order each one of these separately. The only one you get is this one, which is a full-size USB, and that's mostly for charging, but you can plug it in and use this from your computer with this. The other end of the wire is what I can only describe as like a mini HDMI. It's very, very proprietary. I've not seen its likeness. And if you're just buying them and you're just going to use them Bluetooth, that's fine. You get the charging cable and you can use it on your computer straight like that. And this will use its own internal amps and DACs. That's fine too. If you want to plug it in three and a half millimeter and run it off an amp, it will, it's not really running off an amp because everything this does is dependent on it reamplifying the signal with its DSP correction. So you'll just be feeding its signal this way or feeding its signal and power this way or feeding its signal and power this way. So that's the basics, long and short of the wires. If you're out and about, you know, you're not, if you plug it in, it's just gonna suck power. It's not gonna save any battery and you're not gonna be able to like, oh, I wanna try it through a tube. Although you could try it through a tube. It just wouldn't, don't, don't. Let me explain what's going on. So you put the headphones on, you log into the app, it's paired. It says, okay, we're gonna run a hearing test now. Position the, it says, it brings up a little diagram and it shows you, it says, move the neurophones until the, the penis ears are in your ear, until they're pegging your, your ear properly. And it's supposed to make a seal. Now, I had a hard time doing this the second time around. The first time around, I, I managed to get it, but I had to like hold it. And you don't want to do that. You want to just put them on as quickly as you can, make them comfortable, and then it'll bring up a little display and it'll, it'll, you'll see little dark ear cups. I would do it on you, but it's, it's too annoying. And you have to go through the whole process for seven, eight minutes. So he basically says, keep moving it till the cups darken. It's like an indicator. So you put them on there and they're two lights. So you move it up and twist. And then you try to get these to seal as best you can in your ear canal. And then once you get it and they're at least even, if they can't, if you can't get them to go with the little check boxes, you at least have to get them even. And it'll say, all right, the test is over. By the way, that test is way too short in your phone. Give me 30 seconds of that with the ability to skip or say done. Because it does it for like, eight seconds and by the time you start the test and adjust them it's over and you got to start the test and adjust them so give me a minute to to deal with it once you've got it as sealed as you can you can run it without a full seal just get it comfortable like where it's going to be then it says okay sit still for a minute in a quiet room and let me do a thing and it does this sound for a solid minute and it's mapping out how it hears you hearing which is strange but that's what it's doing. And when it's done, it gives you a sample track to listen to, it comes with the app. And it's like, all right, we're gonna play this track with nothing fucking with it. They don't say that, but they say the, you know, it's not corrected. And then once, once it loads, now you could hit the corrected version. And let me tell you something, it sounds like goddamn shit before you turn on your personalization. So this is generic sound. So. I can't even tell you what drivers are in here. Like you're like, well, Zeos, tell us about the actual headphone. Is there a 50 millimeter driver? Is there IM drivers in here? I don't know. I don't know. And you know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to ask. I, as curious as I am before this review, I did not want to start doing research into it because I feel like that might ruin the magic. And I'm here to talk about the magic. 
So you get the music playing, the sample plays, and you hit personalize. And all of a sudden, what sounds like if you put beats in an old coffee can and then put the whole coffee can on your head, that goes away. And now it sounds like you're listening to $400 headphones. Just boom, immediately. So let's let's do that. Let's Now here, again, there, there's no on off button. They're off now, because I don't know if it's magnet sensors in the thing that just detect that you know, the, the bottoms are close together and therefore it should be off. But then what if you put it on a headphone stand? But if you put it on this type of headphone stand, it would do that anyway. I don't, I don't know how these work. They work with a lot of magic. I don't know if it's a sensor, because if, if I just open it, here, let's see. It's not coming on. Putting them on my head. They're now seated on my head. Wait. Nothing yet. Bluetooth connected. Welcome back. Zeo's Asian Girl Looking Me Simulator. And uh, that's what I titled my profile. And it says your profile name every time you put it on. So the very first time I did it, it was Zeo's Penis Ears. So I used to say, welcome back, Zeo's Penis Ears. So now it says, welcome back, Zeo's Asian Girl's Looking Me Simulator. Ooh, yeah. It actually adds, ooh, yeah. So there. Let's reconnect to this. I'm going to use this as a chin stand. That's the ultimate. I'm doing the ultimate thing right now. So there is what... My, um, actually, there's, I should show you my original. Zeo's penis ears. That was my Zeo's penis ears. That's when I got a really good seal. I spent the time to get it to seal properly, but it was a pain in the ass. So the second time around I did it, I did it without, there it is, without me getting a perfect seal. It was just like a good enough seal. Let me lower the brightness down so you can actually see this app. It was like a good enough seal. It was like... It actually gave me a warning. It said, look, your, your thing wasn't quite sealed enough. Do you want to try again? And I'm like, nah, screw it. I can't spend the time to get this to fit right. Your ears might be different. I have giant weird ears. Plus, I usually, with IEMs, I use a larger tip on the right than I do on the left. So having ones that... And these are replaceable tips. These do come off. They're just huge. And I don't... I don't feel like getting them on and off. Neurophone does sell replacements. But I mean... They don't exactly like seat in your ears. All right, pause. Welcome back, Zeos Asian Girls Looking Me Simulator. Oh yeah. All right, yeah, generic. The only volume control is here on your device. Although, can you hold on, let me see. Um, where's my settings? Settings. Check for a firmware update. Up to date. Here, left track button, right track button. So I made the right button pause, and I made the left button next track. Your options are play, pause, music, and hang up, answer, fall calls. Play, pause, music, enable, disable, immersion, which we'll talk about in a second, and then previous track, next track. So no way to control the volume except for through the Bluetooth control. So you actually have to physically, no, that's the wrong one. It has to be playing music, which bang, bang your head. And now that's the Bluetooth. Which, and I know this could probably be an Android thing or my specific build at Android on my Z2 Force, but the jumps in volume are a little bit higher than I'd like. It's like going up 70, 80, 90, 100, where I need like 76%, and I can't quite hone in on that amount of volume. So it's either too quiet or too loud, because it's just like, that's good. And that's, mm. Yeah, generic sounds like the worst thing you've ever heard. These would get the worst review ever if they sounded like they do in the generic mode. When you put it the personalized mood, mode, they sound amazing. The next problem is, not problem, but next feature that I find a problem is immersion mode, which basically goes from off to front row, and it's just a slider you could drag across. Um... I count this as a bass boost because it goes to front row and it's like being in the front row of a dead mouse concert right in front of the speaker array because they om they distort from the low end they try to push on basically every track. So hold on. Unpause. Oh, by the way, there is a tactile when you when you tap the side to pause on pause next track. 
it goes click internally. So it's it's good. That's a good UI design is that you touch it and it isn't just some, is it doing something? You know it's doing something because it goes click, click, click. I could hear it in my ears. Oh, by the way, I tried to sound demo these. No luck. My recording rig was just dying. I Because I had to get the things and the hole and the hole, it just wouldn't. So I have to describe how these sound a little more than I normally do because I don't have the uh, sound demo to back my ass up. So back to unpausing this. Let's put on immersion mode. Off sounds nice and clear. One notch and it's like, oh, the bass is coming up. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Two is like, oh, you've got bass boost on. Three. So there, the bass sounds muddy. Oh! I can't even take them off to show you. As soon as they come off my ears. They just. Oh my god. Alright, immersion mode is like, no. Immer Welcome back. Zeo's Asian Girls Look at Me Simulator. Oh yeah. I love that it says that every time. You can make it say anything you want. Um. Immersion mode feels like it should go. It feels like this bar should stop there. Like that's as far. Maybe there is as far as immersion mode should go. And someone coded it improperly and it has like 68% more that it can go. Where it's just distortion and badness. So uh, I would honestly leave immersion mode off or go one or two clicks maximum. Like if you want to have a little bit of bass, if you want to have that. Right now we are listening to Tron Legacy, which is the game has changed. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's, all right. I'll link to this if you want to spend like $100 on a headphone stand. There you go. Depth and imaging. This is why the, I have to explain why they're worth $400. Because for all this technology, that doesn't fucking matter to me if they don't sound good at the end of it. It's the ends justifying the means, or there's the means justifying the ends. I don't know. One of those two, though. See. Pause that. They do their thing. Ignoring the magic. If these just came pre-set up for my ears and they had this weird shape and that weird silicone, which by the way, I've gone walking with it, and it's it's weird having a set of headphones that when you sweat, it doesn't either absorb or get all stuck into it. So you can just wipe it off with a damn, I wipe it off with a baby wipe. But um, they sound like they're worth $400 beyond all the technology in it. Just as a Bluetooth headphone, Competing with like the likes of the only thing that beats. I'm sorry. Wow. I, I get those two confused sometimes. The only thing that Bose and Sony have going for their $400 headphones is noise canceling. And since these are sealed very well and doing this correction, it does actually, even though it's not saying purposely that, hey, if we have noise canceling, it is pretty pretty close to a noise canceling ish headphone it's not like those where you can just go and you hear the you hear the nothingness but you don't really need i'm not missing it and this sounds better than either the bose or the sony 1000s they just do the comfort is that it isn't it's not an issue but you have to get used to the fact that you will be probed endlessly just little Asian girls' tongues, just licking your inner ear, just constantly. And it's when it's co when they're cold is when it's the best, and you get that like shiver down your spine, like you're being massaged. It's like ooh, and then they warm up, and it's just like okay. Imagine if like some some. I will right, we'll get away from cute Asian girls. Imagine if some uh, Bolivian uh, man with cold fingers so sort of up behind you and just touched your ears, and he's like, oh, you're like ooh, that kind of feels good, Rondo. I'm assuming his name is Rondo. And then he leaves his fingers there. 
for as long as you're listening to music. You just leave them there and they're just warm. And he's like reading someone's magazine over there and you're just sitting there reading your magazine and this guy's fingers are in your ear. Because it's not the same as wearing IMs. Because unless you wear IMs with headphones, which I have done because I'm crazy. So once you get used to the fact that Rondo's got his fingers in your ears and it will go away. These are nice and soft and they do flex in so they can adjust for a wide range of ears. Although for mine, it would have to come out more, and it just doesn't. Once you get past that weird comfort, and it's it is they're comfortable. They're not like the biggest ear cups. So I mean, my ears do touch top and bottom, but they don't touch in here. Yeah, the Bose would probably still be the most comfortable. The Sony's were like a normal set, and these are somewhere in the middle, but they sound better. They just sound better. Now you have. The profile you load is not on the phone, even though I can see it here. Yeah, I'll reconnect it in a second. The app's being a dick, because the app wants me to be wearing these. Oh, there you go. Even though you can see it here, this is already uploaded to the headphone. The headphone has this. I don't have to use this at all. I could shut this off, I could throw this phone in the trash, I could get a brand new phone or app or plug in the Bluetooth receiver thing, and I could send to this, and it'll say, Hey, welcome, uh, yeah, I know you're disconnected. Zeos Asian Girls Licking My Ears Simulator 2018. I should have put 2018 in there, damn it. And then it'll just work because the profile is loaded. If you want to change it, you need the app again. If you want someone else to use your headphones, unless they have exactly the same shaped ears, you got to run the app again. And they got to go through the full two, three minutes of setup and adjustment and then like, okay, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, okay, test. Okay, good. Okay, here's a sample. It has to play that sample. It has to let you hit the button. And then you can use the headphones. So, modern technology, these have a shit ton of it. This is going to start being a thing. I'm, I'm, I'm visualizing the future. And right now, the future is simple. Look, there's some Bluetooth headphones. There's the MNOs, the MPOWs, the VMOTAs, and... There's some technology in there, but they're just it's just Bluetooth headphones. Then there's the Taction Cannons, which are like bass shaker headphones, which you can almost get out of this in immersion mode. And then there's the, so technology is coming for all of us. And I'm just hoping that there's still a headphone in the future that you put on and you don't have to run a 17 minute analyzation process to you know just it sounds amazing. I can only imagine if you could do that for something like Ether C's, where you put them on your head and then it analyzes how you're hearing it and then tweaks it, sort of like what TruFi is doing, but more personalized and less like a generic fix. This is the future, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Well, not three-year-olds. They don't give a fuck about this. But, oh, right, here's the screen, by the way, where it shows you when they start glowing. It's weird. Oh, no. It's, they'd start glowing and it's like, move them till they fit. And you start sliding them up and down and twisting the cups a bit. And it's like, ah, fit. And you just get them good enough, continue, and you could always go back and do it again. There's three profile slots on the headphone. So you could, you'd have to switch the profile in the app. So if you're wearing your headphones and then your wife comes out and she's like, I want to wear the headphones, so I helped buy them, give me. You'd have to get the app out. Bluetooth in, even if you're using one of these wires, you'd have to Bluetooth in, connect the app, switch the profile, and then you can disconnect all this. And if you plug these in, by the way, it automatically disables Bluetooth. So here, let's, just for shits and or giggles, where's the one I want to plug in? I want to plug you into you there, because there's no point in having my computer here if I'm not using it for something. So now without separate without turning them on or waking them up using whatever magic and it's a very weirdly deep gold plug and now we got to keep in mind that's the right side zeos welcome back zeos asian girls looking me simulator oh yeah this will not connect i don't think let's see I'm gonna tell it to connect. Let's see if it connects. Okay, so we're playing music very quietly. 
Yeah, no, Bluetooth is not connecting. So once you plug it in through any of these methods, you are now locked out of the app, basically. Because there's no reason for the app to work when it's plugged in. We can put that down. But we are getting this. She's no good. Well, it, well it sh see, I can't pause the music when I take it off my ears. Hear how quiet it is? And this is blasting. So this is like, like that's the edge of like, lower that, honey. And then, listen, listen. It's like I'm blasting IEMs. So when you actually have them against your head, there's no sound leakage because it's shoving all the audio through the actual earpiece. There's nothing coming out of here. It's very strange. All I can say about these is they're very strange. They're technology. I don't understand personally like how it's doing the measurements. I just know it works. That's why you come to Zeos. Because Zeos, he could analyze this and rip it apart. I don't care. Does it work? Okay. Is it snake oil? No. If the corrections that you're, if the generic, um, the only thing that worried me was that if the generic versus the personalized button, if they were really actively fucking up the generic one to make it seem like there's a huge difference, but I don't think they're doing that. In other words, if you had like a really good headphone and you wanted to show people how improved your Xbox works with it, you would make that really good headphone sound like crap while they test it. I'm like, listen to how this sounds. It's like one of those infomercials where the person opens a drawer and everything falls out and they're like, oh God, this could save your life. Cause you know, ex they're ex if they're not exaggerating how plain Jane it sounds in generic and bad, and then go into personalize. If it's actually that big a difference, this is the greatest DSP correction that's ever lived. And probably why I would win CES. They obviously don't need a lot of power because they're self-powered. Good low-end boost. See, here's another thing. Now, where's my immersion mode? So th these buttons now don't do anything because they can't control my computer. So now I have no control. And I can't get into the Bluetooth setting to like up or lower the immersion unless I set those before I did this. So if I unplug it like that. Now we wait. It should tick back over. Welcome back. Zeos, Zeos Asian Girls Look at Me Simulator. Oh, yeah. Come on. Neurophones. Now it'll connect. So even though that's Welcome Me Back, now it's going to be connected with Bluetooth. And now we go in here, and now it's connecting to the neurophones, and now I can play with all the settings and switch profiles and all that other shit. So my immersion mode was stuck on too. So if I wanted that off, I'd have to do unplug, Bluetooth, uh, change it, plug it back in, and then it'll switch back to that input. So just look, it's simplified to the point of like, like, oh, there's no buttons. Great. But I want to change things without going through all this. So you're going to have to deal with something like that. I do really like the way that Sony handled that with the um with the entire like this is a touch thing, but the Sony you could do you know gestures and up and down. So the next versions of the newer phones maybe they do that exact same thing but on the fascia, so you could be like double tap then scroll up for immersion mode and double tap and scroll down for you know actually you'd have to do the front, left right for volume. The future is here and it's going to be a fucking complicated process that needs a goddamn manual on your phone which is also what you need to control your device. I, I know you stopped working. See, it's off already. Are the newer phones worth $400? Absolutely, they sound like they're worth $400. Is the technology that it does what makes it good? Well, they sound good regardless. If they could all sound this good, then it's worth $400. Get past the comfort. Get past the little... What was his name? Rondo? Get past Rondo doing this. Or enjoy it. I mean, literally, I wore them for the first 20 minutes when I unpacked them. And I'm like, oh my god, this feels so good. It made me like... <laughs> like that first time you go to church and the priest fingers your ears. It's exactly like that. So yeah. They're worth $400. If you're competing... If you're thinking about getting Bluetooth headphones in this price range. And it's Bose or Sony. 
or these, these for sound quality, Sony for features, and Bose for comfort. I can't even put the Bose noise canceling over the Sony noise canceling. Bose probably for comfort is it, and build quality. I mean, there's nothing to break on these, but they don't collapse or fold. They came with a really cool case. Where's my, where's the really cool Neura phone case before I end it? Because this is part of the reason I love these things. So, no zipper. It's just a magnet on a strap. And you lift this, and it's, it's nice. It's got a seal with more magnets. It's magnets on magnets, and you open it up, and here's the magnetized silicone holder for the wire that you can squirrel the wire in there and this will magnet in and then you put the headphones in this and then you close it and it magnets close and you put an extra magnet on it and it's ooh, one of the nicest cases it's thick though that is some thick boy case so one of the benefits of the Sony or the Bose is they get real small and these do not this is a big thick and this doesn't stay open, by the way. I, I want it to just, and it, I, I've been trying to like, it's just tight. I'm gonna have to leave it out. So I'm probably keeping a set of these and I'm probably selling a set of these. Consider I bought one. Um, they will come out and they will get compared against other Bluetooth devices. Because again, I don't have a problem with Bluetooth. Plugging into that didn't make it sound any better than using it just over Bluetooth. It just didn't. You're using the amplifiers in this, you're not using that amplifier, that's just feeding signal. You're using the amplifiers in this, you're using the DSP correction in this, you're using the DAC in this. We're done. No sound demo in the description because I literally can't sound demo these. Sorry. Uh, I'll link to this headphone stand because, I mean, you're going to need one like this. You can't phone block it. It's blowing my mind because I've had to have this goddamn thing sitting in the middle of my phone blocks and, like, that doesn't work. Uh, link to these on Amazon. I'll link to all the wires. I don't know if these are on Amazon or if you can only buy these through their site. Uh, link to things. And her. She's having a good time. It's her fingers. See those little fingers? That's what's in my ears. That's not Rondo. Hers. Ugh. It feels so good. So yeah, I, I know that I know the app is I know the app is I know. Go away. There. Thank you. Yes. Next time. Wallpaper, Patreon, upper right, Patreon description, hifiguides.com. We'll have these on it for sure. Go check that out. Later.